So you're thinking about moving to the Gulf Shores, Orange Beach area, and you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't really want to move to the beach. It's scary. I mean, there's a lot of things that are bad at the beach. I mean, sharks, you know, jellyfish, hurricanes. Oh my God. So yeah, I mean, you know, there's, there's a lot of things to talk about. There's a lot of pros that are with it. Um, so today we're going to cover just a few. We're just going to touch on a few of the pros and cons of actually moving to our area. So let's get to it. Hey guys, if this is your first time to the channel, um, just make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the little bell so you can be the first ones notified about the current market situation in the Orange Beach Gulf Shores area and all the surrounding areas too. Uh, we do. This is I'm Mandy Hollis. This is Aileen Fountain, my partner, and we do videos just like this every week. So we'll give you all the information you need to know about you know moving to the area, living in the area, um, any even vacationing in the area. Um, we're with EXP Realty. And like I said, we, we do these videos every week just to be informative, just to let people know, you know, all the stuff there is to know, all the ins and outs. The goods what it's and the like bad. to really live here. Absolutely. Uh, we love it. I mean, we get calls and emails and texts and everything from people just like you every single day. And we absolutely love it. I mean, we just love it. So don't be afraid to pick up the phone and call us if it's nine days or 90 days before you're thinking about making your move. Please give us a call shoot us a text, shoot us an email, schedule a Zoom call so you can talk to us face to face. We'd love to talk to you and help you make a smooth move to our little slice of paradise. So Aileen, today we're talking about the pros and cons of living in the Gulf Shores Orange Beach area, specifically on the beach. Um, so let's just start out with, you know, one of the main pros is our beaches. I mean, the, the oh my God, the white sugary sand that our beaches have. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing. The I view. Mean, oh. I mean, the, 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 the obvious, it's it's the view and, and to be able to wake up and see that view every day. Oh my God. Even if you can't afford to live directly on the Gulf or you don't want to live directly on the Gulf, your access to the beach, we have so many state and city parks right along the beach that have yes. easy access to just roll right in parks, especially off season. You have no issues at all getting into the beach. And it's it, it at 19 years later, the view has never gotten old to me. Absolutely. Well, listen, also our sunsets, our sunsets here are amazing. I mean, just it's just about every day. I mean, you know, we do get some some colder weather, but it's it's not. We it's we not hardly ever. cold. I mean, you might have a week cold and then it warms back. Now, listen, cold to us is you know if it dips below sixty degrees, it's freezing. I have a yeah. threshold so. at fifty five. If, it, if it's <laughs> below fifty five, I'm cold. I'm a big pro that I don't think unless you really know the area is is our boating community. I mean, oh, yeah. we, we have one of the best boating communities yep. that anywhere around. I mean, the, the number of restaurants and sandbars and things that you can do by boat. And, and every time you go yep. on the boat, you will see dolphins. I mean, it is just, it's, yep. it's really, I mean, it, it's, and I don't know it's, if it's, it's, it's majestic every time. I'm sure it has changed a lot, but about three or four years ago, a friend of mine, we were having a conversation. So we decided to find out how many bars and restaurants you can get to by boat. And we counted 57. And I think it's probably changed uh, since That's a then. Lot. So wow. I think it's actually more than that now. Pensacola's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Yeah, how many there. people every year get on a boat and go watch the Blue Angels Absolutely. from Absolutely. Fantastic event. Yep. I mean, just fantastic event. That's always uh, usually about the second week in July, I think is usually when it is. So, you know, I mean, that's one of the very good pros about our area. The other thing is our restaurants. I mean, the, we, we did a video, you can watch it, about the restaurants. You know, the, too many to name in one video. We're oh going to have God. a lot more videos to do on restaurants. Just the, uh, the, I mean, if you're a foodie, this is the place for you. Another good pro for our area is um, the just the entertainment. I mean, there's so much entertainment around here. There's live music. At, I mean, the floor band plays live music every single day. Yeah, the every, Songwriters the Festival songwriters is coming festival, up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, need to look that up. That is a cool event to come see. Um, we have big concert events at the Wharf. Yep. You know, the Wharf is always putting on, you know, we big names. So, yeah. So, those are some of the pros. Now, and, and so you think, 
Well, yeah, is everything just peachy, creamy at the beach? It's not. It's, it's not. I'll tell you a few of the cons. They're um, not that bad. I they're mean. not. No, I mean, the, the number one con is is uh, that during season, it's packed down here. I mean, oh, if gosh. you're a local, you know, it that part is something that you got to learn to navigate through. I mean, you've got the traffic. You've yes. got... You know, you're not getting into your favorite restaurant during season. You're not getting into any restaurant during season. You are, you know, you got you learn the times to go shopping. You do learn a handful of the local restaurants yep. that you can get in and out of and what times. And you learn, you know, what times of the day or week that you are going to get out and about as far as navigating through the traffic. You got to go early enough. If you go yeah. early enough, a you got to know check in can. and check out times. Right. It's traditionally turnovers on Saturday, but you know now nowadays you can have Friday turnover, Saturday turnover, Sunday turnover. Yeah. So check in and check out times, you know, 10 a.m. check in, 3 p.m. check out. You do not want to be trying to uh, leave the island no. at 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and you don't want to be trying to come on the island yes. anytime after 1 in the afternoon. Maybe 2 o'clock <laughs> in the morning is the best time to get here. And so. a real good trick is to stop at the grocery stores and get what you need before you get here. You know, a lot of times, I mean, because the I'm telling you, it's a nightmare at the grocery store. I mean, it, it, during well, the summer. I, 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 here's I, what I do. If I'm checking into my condo and it's during season... That first night, like Friday or Saturday, I'm getting pizza. Yeah. And then the next morning, I'm going to get up early. And really I'm gonna, early. I'm going to go to the grocery <laughs> store and I'm going to yeah. get, get the groceries. That's the trick is that first night, have something planned easy. Yeah. And then the next morning, get up early and get to the grocery store. That makes sense. Yep. And and you're usually, that has, that has really worked. Yep. So. Another con that li about living here is people are scared to death of hurricanes. Scared to death yep. of hurricanes. I mean, hurricanes are... Now listen, if, if they tell you to get out, <laughs> get out. I have literally lived through hurricanes my <clears throat> entire life. I was one when Frederick came through here in 79. Yeah. It was, you know, at that time it was the worst storm to come through here. So I lived through my first hurricane at one <laughs> yeah. and I'm still living through hurricanes. <laughs> we had Ivan in 04 and Sally in 2020. And yep. so we left during Ivan, but stayed during Sally. I left during, well, I wasn't here during Ivan, but I left during Sally. I got the, I got, mm. I, I, that, I looked was, at my truck and as soon, <laughs> as soon as the water got about just to the bottom of the rim, I said, that's it. I'm out. So the reason why I say, you know, hurricanes <clears throat> aren't to, you know, don't be, don't let that be the reason you, you don't move here is because um, we have plenty of time to prepare for them. It's not like, you know, a tornado that's going to pop up and hit you immediately. And the, the officials in Orange Beach Gulf Shores, know, they know how to handle the it. The leaders I mean, so in our area are amazing at preparing and the aftermath of a storm. Yes. Um, they, they, will have, they have this place back <clears throat> up and running as quick as anything. Yep. Um, the beaches in our state, in the state of Alabama, are extremely important to our our uh, our state's revenue, yep. and so we have a lot of, of help from a state standpoint. And then the locals here in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach are great leaders yep. and very good at, at that. So if um, they tell me to leave, I'm leaving, <laughs> and that's it. So, um, but so yeah, so hurricanes aren't that bad to deal with. The other thing I guess that would be a con is uh, you know I hear it from everybody in. I have had so many people say, are there sharks in your waters? Are there sharks in the, like in the bay area? Absolutely. Are there sharks? Well, here's a little trick <laughs> that I have found that works every single time. If you'll walk out in the water about knee high, reach your hand down and put, a, put your hand in, Taste of the water. If it's salty, it's got sharks in it. If it's salty water, that is the dumbest it's thing got, it's got I have sharks ever in it. heard. <laughs> well, I promise you it works. It's got <laughs> sharks in it. All, but the sharks won't bother you. It's I also mean, got they, dolphins. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Beautiful but the, dolphins. The sharks will not bother you. Well, I will so. tell you what's way, way scarier than the sharks, and that is um, not understanding the currents oh the rip tides. and and yes. getting in when you're not supposed to get in going in too deep and um an accidental drowning that's yes. way don't way do scarier it. than than any sharks that are out in in the gulf so. once again if they tell you to stay out of the water stay out of the water the <laughs> other con against the area i guess would be jellyfish 
But jellyfish don't bother me. I mean, well, they they're, just, and they're, they very, never they're me. very, it's, you can't really say that there's a, I mean, it's seasonal. I mean, some, you may have one day they're here for a couple of days and then not see them for And a they're month. really not very fast. So if you see one, you can get away from it. Yeah. So I mean, they're not like, you know, they're not, they don't just come after you. Yeah. So yeah, so don't be scared of the jellyfish. So don't be scared to move to the beach. There's, there's nothing here that's scary. Uh, give us a call. Aileen and I both will be glad to help you make a smooth move to our little uh, section of the world, our little slice, slice of paradise. paradise. <laughs> I mean, I, we absolutely love it here. So um, again, if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and ring the little bell so you'll be the first one notified. So you can actually learn everything there is to know about living at the beach, moving to the beach, vacation to get the beach, anything you want to learn. And if you, if there is something you want to know that we haven't covered yet, put it in the comments. We'd love to make, we, we, we're going to do these videos every week anyway. We're doing, putting out about three videos a week usually. So that way we can get the content you want to hear. But until then, see you around town.